Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 38 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in for today's show. If you caught our last episode, we were taking a look at quick collections and some develop module tips inside of Adobe Lightroom. Today I've got a response to a question I received here at Photoshop World at one of our meet and greets. So this question comes from David Hodgins who wanted to know the difference between vibrance and saturation. So I'm going to take you inside of Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop. Let's take a look. So you can see here I'm in Adobe Bridge and what I'm going to do is just double click on an image and this raw file is going to take me directly into Adobe Camera Raw. I'm in the basic panel and down at the bottom of the screen I've got vibrance and saturation. Now if I crank the saturation up all the way to plus 100 you're going to see that this does a really good job of just destroying the skin tones. So I'll go ahead and just double click on that and now I'll go ahead and I'll move vibrance. And when I crank vibrance up to 100%, it's still more than what we wanted, but notice the difference in that it did not really react to the skin tones right away. So here's the difference, really in a nutshell, between vibrance and saturation. Saturation works by boosting all of the colors in the scene equally all at once. Vibrance works the way that your brain works. When you look at a scene and you want to boost the colors, what you're really thinking is, I want to boost all the dull and muted colors. That's the way that Vibrance works. Vibrance works by targeting the muted colors first, the dullest colors first. And it also does its best to ignore orange, which is really in our skin tones. So you can see here, if I actually reset that and adjust this the way that I would want, I can use Vibrance to pull up the color in the scene, boost the color nicer, 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 and stop short of actually grabbing the skin tones. Just made this adjustment in Adobe Camera Raw. If you were using Room, you could do the same thing in Lightroom's Develop module. Now, what I'm going to do is reset both of these and show you where you could make this adjustment simply in Photoshop. I'll go ahead and just reset the fader. And I'll click open image and this will open the image inside of Photoshop. I'm going to just move the image and resize it so we can see it better on the screen. There it is. And what I'll do here is just go to the image menu adjustments and notice that vibrance is an adjustment there. So I go ahead and select it and we get vibrance and saturation. They work just the same way you saw in the Adobe Camera Raw module. I would use vibrance here to boost the overall colors and if I wanted to tweak the overall colors in the scene I'd grab saturation. Now I know what you're thinking you grabbed an image adjustment layer and that's a permanent change and that's destructive and we don't like that. Well you got me there. You could actually use your adjustments panel so let me show you that real quick. I just cancel out bring up the layers panel here, move it onto screen, I'll grab the adjustments panel, also move that onto screen, and yes, I actually have vibrance as an adjustment layer, and here I can go ahead and tweak it, and now it is truly non-destructive. Those are three ways that you can make changes in Lightroom's develop module, which is equivalent to Adobe Camera Raw, and here inside of Photoshop. So, my name is AJ Wood. Remember, I answer the questions that you ask every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. Leave comments here on the YouTube channel or my blog, ajwood.com. So, you guys have an excellent week, and I'll see you on Friday.